Okay, so why am I making these videos about different people and talking about them today and right now up here in the mountains and I'm yeah, shirtless and laying here getting old. Not that laying here makes me old, but I'm just, I'm, I'm going to be 50 next year. So it's just amazing and uh, the temperature's great. I was in the creek, got my shorts on and um, I'm laying here in an underground place that I have been building and really building for my kids and grandkids and stuff and I'm thinking about Brianna and I want to message I want to do a little message for her in, in the future that she can watch um, so sweetheart I love you so much and you know I just think about you the time that you were little went by so fast you were so sweet and so really perfect. Um, when I think about the, the one or two times, I think of one time that I spanked you was um, just with my hand. Uh, it was, I still have pain in my heart, you know, thinking about it. Not that um, I have regrets necessarily because I, I do want to follow um, good training principles, and the Bible says, spare the rod, spoil a child, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. And uh, so I just, you know, it, it's when they, when they first, after sin started in the, in the garden, and they were told to, God told Adam and Eve, to kill a lamb they cried it was very hard and so you know to to displease you as your parent by punishment of any kind and to give you that you know to see your little face you know pucker up and tears come down your eyes or to even you know for it's just it's just painful very very painful and um because the connection between a child and a parent is very, should be, and is very um, precious beyond words. You have this connection with another entity, a human life that God has, through you, created. And uh, that you participated in. Your mom and I, we talked about it and thought about it and created you with God's help through love and you were a very beautiful special child and your dad hasn't been perfect but I'll tell you I have never ever for a second thought, um, a disappoint, well, a disappointing thought, I was never, and I am not disappointed in you at all, I'm very proud of you, and uh, no matter what you've done, no matter what you're doing, you know right from wrong, and you know the consequences of your actions, so I'm, I'm your father, I'm there for you, I care about you. I also care about your friends and who you're with. Right now it's 2018, so you have a boyfriend named Kyle. And um, I think about him as um, if he was my own son. And it amazes me that I'm at an age where I can think of someone that's that age as a son. But it's true, it could be. He could be a son and... And I'd like to get him a gift. I've been thinking about, like, what would he want? Would he want a pocket knife, a set of tools, a, you know, a cool camping light? Or or would he, would he like a car? You know, I've been thinking about even cars. So, and I'm thinking about taking you shopping. Do you want clothes or something I can get for you? 
and uh, went by, saw you at Taco Bell, and I got a tostada through the drive through and that was very special. And just the fact that you made it was just, I, I enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah. I love my daughter. When she was born, I was right there. I, I caught her. I was the first person who put my hands on her and touched her and held her. And, um, Brianna, your little eyes, they looked up at me and they met me. <laughs> this makes me want to cry because it was so sweet. You had these little teeny eyes and you just looked up at me. And I was in love. It was unbelievable. I, um, oh, see the tears are coming. I, I just said my first words, I'm always there for you. And in my mind, I'm just, I'm trying to be there for you. I am there for you. If you reach out to me, and there's so many different ways, that's why in the Philippines, all these years, I've always had a phone. I, I've had a US phone line there that I got a long time ago. Um, since you've been in your teens, ever since you're in your teens, I've had a US phone line so that you could contact me uh, uh, on a local number. And um, I've always been willing to jump on a flight and rush to where you are when you went through the situation with your first boyfriend or friend and different things that have happened to you that were hurtful. I'm not Jesus, but Jesus says, just reach out to him and he's there. I'm your dad, and if you reach out to me, I'm there. And I am there for you. But I, I'm not going to push myself on you, force myself on you. I'm just there for you. And when you need me, um, I'll be there. It might take me a day to fly around the world to get there for you, but I'll do my best. I, I'm one of the one of the things I'm so proud of you for is your independence and your your uh, ability to hold your own and your ability to hold your weight and to just um, you haven't even asked me for money for gas or anything, and it's just unbelievable how you went from high school to getting a job in an interview and then to going to college and uh, and now going on to a different college and I know it's going to be much cooler there at the Redwood College of the Redwoods and life is going to take its turns you're going to have um, choices you'll find through life sweetheart you're going to have a lot of choices and some of the choices you'll make aren't going to be so good and they're going to affect you in ways that you you didn't expect but the good news is that you can always stop where you're at look around change directions and go in the right direction you can you're smart and with god's help you can you can choose your future. You don't have to just go through life and accept whatever happens. Uh, whatever happens. If your dad, something happens to me, if something happens to a loved one, a friend, um, life is so precious and it's so fragile. People will die. You'll notice or you'll know people who have died in your life. And uh, you can actually go through not life and not let that uh, affect you too much it, it can affect you in a positive way it can motivate you to be be right with God and ready so you can see them again if you realize the truth of um, eternal life and life after death because those things are true and um, sometimes we we get so caught up in life and we don't don't read scripture we don't think we don't contemplate 
and then we we start to think are these things really true yes yes they are just look at yourself in the mirror and realize see you are a miracle you are an unbelievable miracle so i uh i work really hard to help you with a place to live through um the lady that you stayed with, the nice lady, I forget her name, but um, anyway, I'm at 10 minutes and 42 seconds, I could go for an hour talking about my sweetheart, Brianna, 20 years old now, going to college, anyway, I love you, sweetheart. <laughs>